Mark Strong, don't work with Sasha Baron Cohen ever again because you two do not make a great pair. Directed by Louis Letrier, starring Sasha Baron Cohen and Mark Strong. This movie is one of these Sasha Baron Cohen films that is like Dictator, only it's really horrendously awful. I saw a Dictator, I thought it was an okay film. This movie is terrible, I don't want to ever see another movie with Sasha Baron Cohen in the lead ever again. In this movie, his character is named Nobby. He is an orphan that's been separated from his brother. When they were kids, their parents died and they get split up. The family that comes to the orphanage decides to, to adopt only one of them, Nobby. He gets a good life. He ends up with a family married to Rebel Wilson. <laughs> I don't know if that's such a great life, but to him it is a great life. Nami has always wondered what has happened to his brother Sebastian, played by Mark Strong in this film. And he has been trying to track Sebastian down, wondering where he is and having his family look for him as well. Well, we find out where Sebastian is. He is now working for the CIA and he hates his brother. Nami tracks his brother down. He realizes what his brother does for a living now. He compromises his brother's job. And now they are forced to work together to fix the, the mistake that Nabi made getting in the way of Sebastian's work. And the movie's terrible. It is horrendously awful. It was one of the worst ex cinematic experiences I had to sit through. It took a lot of strength to just not walk out of this movie. I really wanted to walk out, but I felt I should stay and see the movie to its end. And oh my goodness, was this bad. Sasha Baron Cohen and Mark Strong don't have any comedic chemistry at all. The jokes in this movie are terrible, mostly disgusting, gross humor. Really disgusting, gross humor, more dis disgusting, gross than the Seth MacFarlane humor that was in A Million Ways to Die in the West. And this movie has elephant humor, fat joke humor, and it's really done badly. I don't know how you could do elephant humor good. <laughs> None of the good actors in this movie, like Mark Strong or Isla Fisher are, or Penelope Cruz even, are good in this movie. They're all bad. Isla Fisher is pretty much an ornament in this film. She's a terrific actress. Penelope Cruz is a generic villain in this movie. And the movie is just so bad. Rebel Wilson is so annoying in this film. I didn't really like her at all. I'm not real that much of a fan of her uh, anyway. <laughs> Man, I really want to walk out of this movie. And I wish I did, but I did, wanted to stick through to the end in order to get a good review of this film. And it's just bad. Do not see this movie. Do I even have to say what the grade is going to be on this film? Obviously, it is an F! Definitely one of the worst films of the year. Don't see it. There are much better films out there, like 10 Cloverfield Lane. That movie is excellent. Very tense, very suspenseful, where this movie needs to be burned and should never be seen. And that's all I got to say for Brothers Grimsby, or Garbinsby. <laughs> Thank you.